Hi Virgo, this is your reading for July and this is a general and love reading. Um, I feel that for July, some of you are very much developing your own intuitive, psychic, clairvoyant, clairsentience, clairaudient, all, all the clairs. Um, abilities. It might even be mediumship. And I feel that you are launching your own careers in that direction. I'm also getting that there may be some anxiety or some fears that are coming up possibly around this. So pay attention to your dreams. Um, listen to your intuition. Do not let fear stop you. Now, fear can be, uh, you know, something that's positive uh, because it can alert us to things. But you'll know the difference between what kind of fear it is. That's what I'm being led to say. I also feel that some of you have may have a strong connection to Archangel Michael or the name Michael may be of significance. I, there's, there's definitely a message about, I'm hearing that song, I think it's the kink, should I stay or should I go now? If I go, it will be trouble. If I stay, it will be double. So you got to let me know, should I stay or should I go? I've heard this song before. It's coming up in your reading. It's kind of like a back and forth, like you're debating. Um, what should I do? Should, is it now the right time to make the move? This could be in career. This could be, should I stay in my job? This could definitely be in a love relationship, uh, or some type of union. It's a, it's like a delicate balance. Um, I don't know. I just see somebody kind of tiptoeing, like, Maybe there's something about avoiding the subject. So you'll know what is best for you. Just listen to your intuition. Um, I'm getting manifesting, but I also feel like there's something about somebody blocking or being blocked. And I don't know if they're, if you're, uh, blocking your abilities to manifest or I'm not sure exactly what this is and maybe we'll get more messages um, through the cards but I do feel that somebody is feeling kind of left out in the cold so um, it could be that somebody just hasn't been there for you the way that maybe you expected them to be that that's kind of a message that I'm getting. Um, so let's see what the cards have to say for you, Virgo. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> well, we got all kinds of cards that fell out here. Um, and there's some over here. I'll show them to you right over here. Wow. Justice has been coming out, I think this is like maybe the fourth, maybe the fifth time. Let me put out these other cards. Okay. Oh, wow. The lovers. Wow. You know, the other signs, I'm going to see what's underneath. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. The other signs that are uh, standing out for me, and, and now that I have this here, but I was getting Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, and Sagittarius. But in addition, no, I don't remember if this was upright or... In, Okay, let me just look at this. Wow, there's a lot of delays, but I do like that the Knight of Pentacles is here. Things are are kind of moving slowly. I think this was in reverse. If I'm not, but I could be mistaken. Um, okay, let me angle this down and move the tripod here. So we have... 
feel like for you, you know, things are kind of up in the air. Uh, there's some indecisiveness. There's definitely with the lover's card, this can be regarding love. A Gemini and Libra, if I haven't said that, may be of importance. Also Pisces. But see, I feel like there's, you know, the, the lover's card and the justice card and the hanged man often for me. Remember I was talking about a, a major decision. Should I stay? Should I go? What should I do? Um, I feel like there's some kind of delay, 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 delay. And that's what I'm feeling. This can be regarding a money situation, a work situation, things, or a legal situation. It may even be, may not be you. It may be that you are dating somebody and they're going through this or a friend of yours is going through this or a family member, you know, somebody that you really care about. But with these cards, especially in reverse, I just get that uh, there's, there's bickering, not moving forward. There's stagnation. The cards that I like are the two fives. I like that they're in the reverse position. I mean, I feel like with the five of cups, it's moving on. It's kind of like water underneath the bridge. It's a blessing in disguise or even forgiveness. And I feel like here, it's like you're moving on from a situation. You know, there's recovery. But at the same time, you know, I'm being led to, to for you to, I, and I'm sorry if I mentioned this earlier, to possibly watch uh, Aries reading and possibly Aquarius's reading. That's another thing that's coming up here. So things I feel with this card underneath, I want to see what's underneath it. Mm, yep, decision time. So we go from the six of pentacles here to the seven of pentacles. So I feel like through pers perseverance and you're becoming like a visionary and it, it's slow going though. So, you know, the messages that I said prior to the reading still stand. I think that what's going to help is getting insight, getting, listening to that psychic ability, to that gut feeling, to your intuition, um, looking at things from a different perspective, a different point of view, um, even meditation or yoga might be helpful, or maybe somebody hasn't been consistently doing that, and there's a message for you to do that. Make sure that you're, you know, doing those things, um, and it's going to help your peace of mind. I remember I was talking about anxiety or fear and not letting that get the best of you, but... There's something with, I mean, the lovers, it could be that you're, you know, married and getting a, a divorce or there's disagreements, there's disharmony, could be that there is a, a third person, although I'm not, I'm not feeling it that much, but, you know, uh, there is the possibility because it is the lover's card. It is in reverse. So I feel like somehow this union is not, it's not in harmony or possibly it's not a, a union that's working well together. So now for others, this could be, because remember I was getting, I think I, I had mentioned that, and maybe I didn't, you know, I think I, I got this. It was an Aquarius where I was picking up travel, but it can mean that there's a delay in meeting a loved one, 
because of legal legalities or because of paperwork or passports or visas or like K-1 visas, um, student visas, something gets delayed and, uh, and so you're kind of sitting here waiting. Could be Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus person that you are waiting for. So, let me see if there's anything else that's coming up. Balance, getting things back in balance, physically getting back in balance, getting in shape, mentally, emotionally, spiritual balance, that's all important. But I, I do feel like there's going to be a turn of events, but um, there may be some delays or some red tape that you need to get to go through in order to get to where you want to get. It may be a slow going process, but it's the beginning and you'll be getting there. So might also be that there's just delays in terms of work or, you know, whether or not you're going to get that job or hearing news about um, school, um, getting into a school, what you want to study. So these are just different messages. So if there are delays, um, you know, I, I feel like something positive will come out of it. So, but these are, aren't going to, you know, thank you so much for watching Virgo. Take care. All right. Bye.